Well, Dave, we're here at the CCA workbench and rigs and techniques yes. is your expertise, of course. Well, I love frog fishing. I do, and I do a lot of it because I like to top water fish. And, you know, the only reason I go fishing is to watch fish eat. And you get to do a lot of that when you're fishing with a frog. You get to watch, you know, a, a frog bite is kind of like a blue marlin bite on a teaser. I mean, it's a big smash. I mean, he's <laughs> trying to kill it. Right. He wants to kill that frog. and. I don't even care if I hook him half the time. I just like to see him eat it. And it happened to me this weekend. And we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. But um, when, you're, when you're wanting to fish frogs, and a lot of people think that the springtime and you know, right about now is a good time because you start seeing a lot of frogs. And especially in Texas, you, know, you got a lot of hydrilla in the water. But, and you can catch frogs all year. I mean, catch bass on frogs all year round. But the best time is actually in the late summer and the, and the fall because all that hydrilla that gets kicked back during the winter time it comes back stronger and stronger and stronger and as soon as and, it's, and as soon as it gets up close to the top and starts matting up real good mm -hmm. that's when you get a lot of fish underneath of it and that's when you can really get good frog bites you know but at the same time you know you always want to throw around edges of cover and, and what's so great about the frogs these days is they're virtually weedless you can throw these frogs like this is a terminator frog from rapala that's one of my favorite baits because it's almost impossible to hang it up. You know, there's, yeah. this is a collapsible frog, you know, um, when, the, when the soft body, when the fish comes up and eats it, it, it collapses. Wow, and there's that's several, cool. There's several different versions of the frogs. You know, you got, you got these kind of frogs, which are collapsible as well, but you also have solid body frogs that are like a buzz frog that you know you can use this on top of the water or you could just kick it across the surface weedless you know really fast and that's what these little these pedal tails are. You know a few for. years back in Louisiana we were buzzing frogs with these paddle tail type of uh, legs mm -hmm. we were buzzing them treating them like buzz baits. It's exactly the, the bass doesn't really know. <clears throat> for redfish. Well it, a bass doesn't even know a lot of times that this is a frog and probably doesn't care you know, a lot of, you know, if you notice a frog has a white belly, most frogs have white bellies and a dark top, just like right. a bait fish. Right. So when well, you're look cruising. Look at the legs on this thing. They, isn't that awesome? It looks like Bree and a frog. Yep, yeah, those are the lunker hunt uh, wow. frogs. Wow. But when you're, when, you're, uh, wow. when you're cruising those things across the surface, a lot of times, you know, when you got a white frog or something like that, he she, thinks, he look, thinks. she's running. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, think, they think it's a bait fish, <laughs> not just a frog. Right. You know, and, and. For that reason, it's not a, you know, you shouldn't be afraid to throw a frog in open water. Right. You know, if you've got big, wide open water and you know that there's structure underneath there that'll hold bass, if you drag a frog over a bass, he's gonna wanna eat it most of the time and, and he'll, he will crash onto it. And they also work great <clears throat> because of the, the way they're shaped and the way they float, they, they are good for skip baits. You know, you can skip under the docks and stuff. That's another thing where you, the, this, when you're using a frog, I like to use really heavy stuff, and this is my frog, my frog Holy gear. Holy cow, Dave! It's this a is huge like a tarp inside yeah, bait caster. It's caster. a huge, it's a huge bait caster made for salt water. It's a, it, actually, it's an Abu Garcia, and it's made to catch great big fish. Mm -hmm. And I put 20 pound braid on it, which is a light braid compared to a lot of the guys that use. I just don't like to use that 60 pound braid or anything, right? Because I know I'll never break it. I never, I never break the 20. I usually break the leader before I'll break the 20 pound braid anyway. And if I have 60 pound, pound, pound test braid, I'll right. probably break my rod before I break 65 pound test. Right. But you still want to use really heavy stuff. And you know, a heavy, you know, at least 20 pound uh, monofilament leader and 20 pound braid and a really stout rod. Because when you get a bass, when he comes up and eats that thing, first of all, what you don't want to do is jerk immediately. You gotta let him eat it, you know? And what I do is I try to keep the frog on top of the cover mm -hmm. with my line out of the cover. Mm -hmm. Because if the line is dragging in the cover, especially <coughs> if it's lily pads, then you're gonna get the line hung up in the V's of those lily pad leaves. So how do so you I like do to that? Keep a, you keep the rod tip I keep up the like rod this? tip real high and I'm watching the frog. Don't take your eyes off the frog. Cause if you're looking at nature and you get eat, and you jerk back immediately, you're not gonna catch the fish. You gotta let the fish eat the frog, disappear, and then you have to set the hook. Got and then it. once you set the hook and you got his head coming up in all that mess that he's in, cause that's why you're using the frog, you're throwing into really messy places. Mm -hmm. Once you get his head out of the water, then you need a rod that won't bend over like a noodle and will, you can power him out and you just don't stop reeling. Once you get his head out 
you just keep chunking on it until you get, get them close to the boat to get him out of all that trash. You know, you want to really keep him, once you get his head coming to you, that's when you really, really want to start cranking to get him scooping, scooting across. Good job over here at the CCA workbench. You know what? I learned a lot. Well, and I can't wait to get back over here for the new products in another 20 yeah, minutes. Yeah, we're going to talk about show. this new frog that I was using this weekend. <clears throat> so yeah. I'm going to have my frog, Bree, <laughs> run over. Those do kind of like Bree so legs, Brie, don't they? Why don't you, you and Froggy here, they're long. Take us to. I uh, really love being compared to frog legs. They're I long. mean, Especially look at like the when legs. They're delicious. And you get compared I, to frog legs. It's just those so, are delicious looking legs. Such a great compliment.